Hello, and welcome to SCP Containment Breach with Dr. Sumerian. I am trying out a new format here. Sound quality might be a little lower because the microphone is a little further away from me, and it's also going to be mixed in with game audio, so I'm not going to be able to clean it up as much as normal. I kind of am doing this as a bit of a test run. I want to see how it works for me and how it works for you, the audience. So, this is a game I have a bit of a history with. Uh, we're going to go ahead and... Maybe we should make it Dr. Sumerian, actually. Doctor. Nope, no dot. Alright, Dr. Sumerian, and um, I've actually been playing this a little bit off and on. I actually had a failed recording a moment ago. Editing it, I found out that the audio... Whilst basically running everything through the same recording at the same time. So, we'll see how it works out. Okay. We're going to begin playing this game. I have a bit of a history with this. I played this in 2014 before I wrote my very first article for the wiki and probably without it I would well um, when I first started writing in 2012 I wasn't exactly very good at it let's see my D9341 fair enough uh, in 2012 I mean yeah, you know how everyone starts off bad you gotta practice in order to become any good and what ended up happening by the way, this is a very poorly designed bed. I get there are no supports on this side because it's coming out of the wall, but there should be a support right here next to the wall anyway, because otherwise you could sit down right on this corner and it would probably break. I'm just saying. Anyway, uh, back to the topic at hand before these guys show up. And even if they do show up, I'll keep talking. <laughs> the, uh, the thing is, is that uh, when I first started writing, it was particularly difficult for me. Because at the time, the wiki was not exactly friendly to new writers. So what I ended up doing was uh, writing something that was terrible, getting told it was terrible, and then I was terrible for writing it, and then I left and went and did other stuff for a while. And then I uh, started looking at Let's Plays, like, probably 2014 was when I first started basically watching Let's Plays, and I saw Markiplier on YouTube. And the containment breach playthroughs and all the other good stuff and hi hey, got some work for you do me a favor and suggest mm, I need to turn that way. volume up a little bit hold on let's take a look see here you want the uh, I don't want it to be so loud you can't understand what's going on but also the music is getting a bit too much I like the music for, you know what I'm gonna turn the music off we're authorized to kill any disobedient test subjects, so better. don't try anything stupid. Nah, it's not completely better. Let's give it a bit... Well, we'll see. One percent? No, not... Uh, there we go. We just gotta get a little bit of that atmospheric background music. But yeah, without it, I never would have gotten back into the wiki. Attention, please. I'm one of those few Junior. people, they, they call Research them uh, the uh, SCP Containment please Breach Kids. Head. Office. Uh, so you see any good movies lately? No, I don't really watch movies. I read oh, books. Okay. Oh, what about video games? You know, that reminds me, somebody should make a video game. Oh, wait, game it's a completely different place. story. Why the first time I heard that, that, it was, uh, I don't really watch movies, I read books. Kind of a cool idea. Well, I, I don't play video games <clears> either. But, uh, Security is the first step can you hear Volgan there in the background? Secure. On the intercom? Stay vigilant. Well, we're here. I'm still disappointed I didn't get to punch you in the face, but... Uh, yeah, whatever. it happens. Oh, and I by understand. the way... Well, let's take a look at the documentation for SCP-173. And I, uh... You know what? Hold on here. Oh, I can't save it yet. Well, let's go in here and do the thing. Oh, boy. You know, I remember playing this, uh... This has been updated a lot, actually. Attention it's pretty good. Look, I flipped that. Yep, okay. Please approach SCP-173 for testing. Why did the door open? Oh no, who knows? Why? What, 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 Direct eye contact with SCP-173. Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, die. Okay. All right, let's try not to die here. Okay, 
let's make sure we got our audio. That is too loud now. But it was too quiet before. Let's just hopefully that'll work. Yeah, there we go. So hopefully you can still hear me uh, over the ambient noises. There's people down there. I believe this is about to trigger a thing. Okay, so this is definitely going to be a bad time for everybody. Doors locked. Oh, Christ, on a stick. Here's the problem. I'm pretty sure 173 is down here, because he killed me in the very beginning, the very first time I played this. Well, not the very first time I played this. Actually, he may have killed me the very first time I played it, too, but... Yeah, he was definitely down here. No, for shit's sake. One of the bad things about this game is that you just can't see shit. Which is also technically one of the good. Oh. That means the the containment zone per, or, uh, transition is right here? No. Well, okay. Attention. All personnel report to... Oh, yeah, I'll definitely go there. No problem. Okay, well, it's pizza day. It's important for morale, you know. Alright, I came from that direction, I think. Hey, why can't you open this door? Is what I want to know. Alright, doesn't matter. Ah, that's a completely different game than it was the last time around. Okay, I need an ID card to get into these doors. You know, the thing about me is that I, uh, while I am fairly well versed in SCP lore, I don't know the, the items by number. And some of the, even the more famous ones that I should know by number. I know not to go into the center of this fucking room. That particular room style. Okay. Ah, shit. I don't like the looks of this at all. Key cards. Oh, motherfucking key cards everywhere. Yeah, this particular style of room has a soft center that you can fall through. I'm gonna... Oh, it's a Tesla. Alright. Let it go. Let it go off. And then run through. Come on. Go on. I heard something that I was like, Oh, did something come from behind me? Uh, when I saw that dude jump or come through, if you'd have... Ah, uh... oh, shit. card in here. God, I hate the darkness. I'm not a big fan of the ambiance here. Nope, doesn't matter. Can't get into it. I'm basically going to play this all the way through until I die. And now that I've said that, I'm probably going to die immediately, especially since the old man knows I'm here. Once you go through there, the old man is activated, uh, for lack of a better term. So once he does that, he has... Not too long before he finds you. Oh shit, what the hell? Wait, did I already come through this way then? Or did I go through the. No, that's a woman. So I know that was a Oh, for fuck's sake. I might be going through the same fucking places. Ah, uh, well, we'll find out. I feel like this is definitely the same. Yeah, it looks like it's the same. So I'm going through. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Mm. Oh, come on. Go off. Not sure what the Tesla gates are really there for. I guess they do slow down the SCPs, but... Yeah, I'm not going to the soft center floor. Let's check out this direction. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake, it's the Plague Doctor now. That's definitely golden. My name is Dr. Raymond Ham, and I would very much enjoy it if you didn't kill me. Shit. I hate these places. Alright, well. Is he in there? I don't want to look directly at that, but I don't see 173 in there at all. 
He might be. This may be the end of me. I don't have any. I don't have a gas mask, so if he's in there, I'm fucking dead. I'm gonna have some trouble with that. Only one way to find out, though. Well, it worked out. Yeah, if he was in there, I would have been. Because you, without the gas mask, you blink quite a lot in this one. Ah, oh, shit. What's about to happen to me? Surveillance room. Shit, that's... I think the plague doctor comes in there. Well, it doesn't fucking matter because I don't have a key card. I'm gonna end up dying because I don't have a key card to anything. Or because the old man's gonna come up behind me and I'm not gonna see his ass. Alright, where are we going now? One, one, I don't know what 1162 is, and I guess I won't know for a while. Oh. See, the fun thing about any... I'm going to stop for a second and have a conversation. Wait for the old man to find me, I guess. Oh, okay, yep. The, um, the thing about any good horror game is that ambiance is important. So the music here, the sound effects, and the lighting, which I usually play this... Honestly, just so I can see what I'm doing on uh, a higher gamma level. I think this is an elevator. There's no... Well, I know it's an elevator, actually. I'm, well, I don't know that it's an elevator until I click the button, but... I have a fairly certain... I am fairly certain that that is an elevator. Okay, well... That's a different design than it was last time. Last time it was next to the... Uh, I mean, this is procedurally generated, so it's not that unusual that things would be different. But... Shit. Yeah, this is where I die, probably. Hold on. I can only barely see here, anyway. I gotta tilt my computer screen the right direction. Oh, well, that's not gonna matter. It's a checkpoint. What's this say? God damn it, this shit. Okay, can't see a goddamn thing. Okay, well, that that happened. Um, you know what? Mm, no. Dead guy in there. I mean, this is really sort of a test run, so it's alright when I die. Cause I, and I do mean when I die. Shit, is this the infinite... Ooh, it's a key card. Well, it's a level 1 key card, but it's a key card nonetheless. That's a good start. Now, if I remember correctly, this is an infinite hallway that will continue on, even let you look at it. Wait, what did I pick up? A battery? Yeah. SCP-939. Wait, no, that's just SCP-939 documentation. I need a clipboard. The thing about, yeah, there we go. It's the recursive spatial phenomena. I think if you go through her enough, the world changes significantly. Because it's basically not entirely recursive, it's an uh, alternate universe sort of thing. So. Although, you gotta wonder with this particular SCP how other SCPs might cross over from other universes. Mm. Yeah, I know this is the uh, the thrilling content you were looking for, but really this is one of those exploration things. Of like, I want to fucking know what happens. I'm just going to keep on keeping on. Probably going to die. Everything you do here probably ends up, you know, What's the answer? What happens? Probably gonna die. Yeah. Eh. Enough of this shit. Problem is, I don't know which direction I came from now. I am bad. That's another thing that makes this game fun for me, is that I'm just not that great with directions. If that makes any sense. I think there's a gas mask in here, which will be useful. That. And this is an SCP I could actually interact with if I had a key card, which maybe a level one key card will be enough. Who knows? We'll see. Nope, not even close. Alright. And you 
you can. Nice friggin' sight. I only lost four times. Yeah, because what? <laughs> everything looks the same. It's a modular design theory. That's my big thing with like, games like this. There's an old game called Daggerfall. Alright, I hear you. There's a little game called Daggerfall, which was a lot of fun, but there was a serious problem with its level design. Okay, I know this is the right way to go. And I'm not particularly, well, not level design. It was an old game, but it was uh, procedurally generated content. Oh well. I'm gonna get a key card. I think I'm probably gonna have to go downstairs at some point. We're at the end of the road here. Welp, time to run into something terrible, probably. It's probably going to be the mimic creatures. But yeah, uh, the old game called Daggerfall had procedurally generated dungeons, but the problem was the graphics just weren't... Okay. Yep, this is the mimic monsters. Which I have no idea where they are. It's funny how you start to whisper when you're playing a game like this. There are. Oh, okay. I saw movement, and I was like, "What is that movement?" Hello? Can can you help me? Who's there? Yeah. All right. Can't see where the dam. But I know these things. They're gonna kill me for sure. Chances of me getting out of here alive is very low. At least the first time around. Just want to save the game. So. Yep. Here we go. Yep, well, and that's that. As I said, I was going to play this through, you know, just once so I could get a, uh, I, I don't want, the last time around, I had played it for about 20 minutes for the exact same reason. I was a little worried that the the stuff wouldn't come out and I'd have to re-record, so that's this episode. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. If you want to follow uh, when I upload, you can hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button. And you can also follow me on Twitter, because I post every time I uh, upload a new video on Twitter, at DSumerian. And you can also follow me, or, or you can also support this content on Patreon, at Patreon... Yes, that's exactly how it goes. At Patreon.com forward slash DSumerian. Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully this episode actually recorded properly.